Hi guys and girls and gays and they thems. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Celestial Marie here. I'm back. And I'm still black. I know it's disappointing, isn't it? I know, I know, I know, I know. People are so silly, like they're coming to my stream all the time. Are you a black boy? Are you a what are you this? Are you that? Are you actually that colour? Are you black fishing? Babes, imagine doing this every day. Imagine shoot, waking up and choosing this. Like, do you know how much problems that is? Oh, but anyway, um, as requested, this is a life update, chit chat, get ready with me makeup video. Because you lot was practically choking me and dragging me and gagging me in the chat. And honestly, like, it just feels like you guys slut me out for this YouTube video. So now that we're here, don't complain about all the mess. Just bring snacks, bring wipes, bring tissues, it's gonna get emotional. So yeah, let's get into it, yeah. If you haven't already, then make sure you like and subscribe. Well, like at the end, because if you if you like it, that means you have to unlike it, and that's just too much energy, I'm not gonna lie. So you might as well subscribe from now, because you're already here, because honestly, life's a trip and life's a ride. So if you're here for the ride, then you're a ride or die now, but yeah. Anyway, let's get into the video, because look at my face face oh my gosh hey guys i look like a crackhead but i'm trying to look like a crack dealer so we're gonna get into a chit chat get ready with me situation welcome back to my youtube channel um yeah my head's really 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 loud so i thought i'd go back to channeling what's in my head and offloading it and uploading it into another timeline where we're watching it in the future because we're time travelers anyway today i'm gonna be basically i'm i'm actually hella submissive to chat today because you guys have practically been choking and gagging me to do this video so don't complain when it gets messy because you guys did this to me i don't know what to say so let's start with my hair because you guys know i don't like it when my neck's wet but just shut up shut up just shut up just shut up cool let's let's start with my hair um i'm gonna be using twisted sister if you haven't already then go check out my wet look hairstyle that i did i'm not really sure what i'm actually gonna do to my hair i'm just going to do it and then we'll see where it goes cool um where should i start i've been doing a lot of music so with this video being said shameless self promo not shelf what shelfless 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 well to be fair shelfless let's let's make that a phrase shelfless will be somebody who does not understand their value and doesn't see that they are a trophy therefore they are shelfless they cannot be put on a shelf because they do not value themselves to put themselves on a pedestal there redeemed myself um what am i going to start with yeah um i've been holding back a lot with self in general why did i take this side down i can't do both <laughs> but i do <laughs> um no 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 see see yeah one thing i can say is for sure streaming has definitely brought out a lot more of my personality made a realization that since putting myself out into other environments where i'm forced to just be myself around people that don't even know me i am observing that i'm hypercritical if i'm able to edit parts of myself out to seem more to be more digestible to people that just can't handle flavor i don't i don't know what to say but there's that I've been really, I've been feeling really impulsive recently. I wanted to get this side redone. Not my high points. I did think about it, but like, it was giving, this is too bizarre. She's hot, but I don't think I can do that to my face because of how my eye shape is. I'll see what the piercer says, but I mean, I pierce, so I just don't think it, look, it will look good on my face. But I had two here before and I was thinking, why don't you just do it again, you know? And... I can't get any up here, I can't get any up here. I nearly got a tattoo, but the place wasn't open. You can't nearly do something if the place isn't open. Like you can rob a bank and then the bank's not open. So it's kind of like, 
attempted. Should have been a murder. Should have been a murder. See, as much as people say they think I'm American, the random British lingo I come out with, it should be easy to determine that I am not of American origin, but maybe it's something, maybe it's something in my chart. It is in my chart that I'm supposed to be in Los Angeles, but Sin, Sin City was in me for you. Um, yeah, I've gone through so many topics at once. I do not apologize. This is how I am. I'm gonna have to deal with it. Ow. Oh, right. So, as I was saying, we're just gonna be talking, channeling, saying whatever, because at the end of the day, I'm intuitive and I have to accept it. I'm intuitive, but I'm naive. And people do not like when I actually tell them that I am not the character that they want me to play in their movie. Or when I say, hey, I actually need to get back to running my own life and not starring in your performance entertainment masquerade that you want me to do and i don't actually want to wear that mask for you sorry you know like just just say you have a soul std and i have to wear a mask because you're contagious just say that say that say that but a lot of people do not like it when people in general don't like it when you stand up to them and tell them like this is how I am, I am not who you're telling me I am and I don't understand how it can become such a conflict that people will keep telling people they are a certain way like I can only ever relate it to self and things I experience but still it's 2022 and people are trying to tell people they're not gay <laughs> like the land of delusion must have cheap rent because there's so many residents there are so many there there are so many residents and honestly like is there a free gym because i might go part-time part-time just part-time if you're telling me you got free gym and parking don't matter because i'm out car I'm a, I'm a passenger princess and honestly I'm, I'm just looking for Bowser. I, I really am just looking for Bowser because who wants Mario? Who wants Mario? Man, man's a plumber. Ain't seen him fix nothing. Right. Um. But yeah, I've been stepping more into self and just wanting to be exactly how I want to be. Like right now, not not waiting. Oh, I'll do it next week, or I'll make this change next week, or I'll start going gym next. I, I mean. Uh, see i keep saying about gym maybe i definitely need to join gym because i've been saying it i wanted to dye my hair today because where it's getting hot the color's just stripping out and you guys know i shaved this side uh a while back i think it's two years now which is kind of crazy Hot perfection cream gel i'm not really feeling that but it's a vibe that's a vibe yeah right I'm gonna. I don't know what that meant, but okay. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Whatever I just said. But yeah, as I was saying, ugh, I've got a thing about elbows. Don't like them. It just kind of looks weird. Yeah. I think pigtails will do it for me today because. Um. yeah let's do pigtails i'm still gonna mm, i've got thin bands but bands and make her dance being comfortable means you're not really growing so i don't want to be comfortable i want to be always chasing the fruit i literally said it yesterday but of course because you well, you guys wouldn't know unless unless you were there if you're there then shout out to you but I was saying because I went to get another piercing and then I've rudely reminded myself that I'm convinced the dentist has it out for me. I've got four teeth that need to come out and I can't get any more piercings in my face because if I get any more piercings in my face and I go to the dentist, they are not gonna take these teeth out. And every time I'm going through some traumatic experience, that's when my wisdom teeth start to hurt whenever I'm going through some wildly traumatic thing. And 
I just don't want that. I'm not gonna go through the traumatic thing and then go through my teeth hurting. That's just double. I don't do that. So let's undo this side. My hair's got so long, but I'm not gonna cut it again. That's, that's, don't worry. Oh, that spilled on me. That's disgusting. But people need to take it as it resonates. I don't know why people read into the stuff I'm saying so much as if I don't be speaking way ahead and be saying stuff that is not even currently happening. Like, how are you going to tell me I'm indirecting you when I say something in the present that is about something you are going to do in the future? That just means you know that you're an asshole. Like, I, I don't know what to say. That just that just means that you know you're an asshole. In the past couple of months, I found myself doing too much for people and being an asset to people that were actually just sitting on their ass and just watching me do everything. And then when it comes down to it, like people started to notice that I was just pulling my energy back because I was doing a lot of observing. I became very hierophant hermit like where i was just doing my research chilling reflecting and getting to parts of myself that i was so happy with and people would turn around and tell me that that's not me and i've changed and i'm just looking at them like no but babes if someone is becoming a butterfly can you keep telling them they were a caterpillar once or do you no longer even know them because they're a butterfly butterflies and caterpillars aren't chatting to each other like that and if they are well i wouldn't know i'm not a, i'm not actually a butterfly but i'm, I'm saying it metaphorically please is just away with the fact yeah i really do be i really do be because some of these mortal beings again that land of delusion has a lot of residents and i just won't be one full time i'll be in fairyland or wizard land just because you don't get into hogwarts don't mean you have to be mad at everybody else and tell everybody else that they're horrific. Right. With that being said, everything I say from now on, everyone needs to just take it as it resonates because shout out my new song. Um, if, the, if the shoe fits, then wear it and do a catwalk and do a backflip and Vogue. Do all of it. Because honestly, People want to make big performances out of the stuff I say, but I just be highlighting the stuff that they be doing and they don't like it. Like, why don't people... What's that song? That Taylor Swift one. Must be exhausting being the anti-hero. That one, that one, where she said, um, listen, I don't listen to that, that girl. I don't listen to that girl, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really listen to other people's music other than music I'm working on or music in the playlist that I've made because to me it's a type of programming that I do for myself so those songs that get played on the radio to the masses for their mind control and their programming I don't really listen to like that I only hear that song when I'm at my 95 matrix job and it caught me a little bit so I think I've quoted it before in my discord server because she said something and i'm just not remembering the line properly she said um something 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 but never in the mirror like she'll look at everything else but she'll never look in the mirror at herself and a lot of people are doing a lot of projecting rather than actually ejecting themselves and consoling with themselves see what i did there because like a console you ejected this can you look at all the scratches people are doing that they're not doing that they're busy looking at somebody else's gameplay and telling them oh like well if you're doing good it's because you're on easy settings or oh i played it this way you should do it this way when maybe it's an open world game and you just want to collect all the nice stuff and look around and explore and somebody else just trying to get to the end just to say they finished it in this amount of time everyone has their own journey and other people want to force and sway other people to merge their journey with them or to stop off at different points and i'm sorry i'll rather row 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 my boat and try and stay afloat than jump on somebody else's titanic ship just because it looks big and it looks nice and then you crash 
you know. No, but honestly, this is the fastest my hair's detangled. I, I've been doing this thing where I'll say to myself, hey, you're gonna do your hair. And then I'm like, no, no, like it's gonna be so tangled. And I don't know what hair style to do. And, does it? and then I'll just be like, stop, stop, go and do it. So today was one of those because I was literally laying on the side of the bed. I was in so much pain. So that's, that's a different thing. But I was saying about the butterfly effect of things as soon as you make a decision you're not always you're not always aware of the perception that other people have of you and people feel entitled to know when you're going to change something about yourself because it changes something in their reality also and i don't know why people can't just observe and be happy about people's changes and the decisions they make rather than making them feel bad about the fact that they no longer align with them they can't just accept it i view all connections and relationships as temporary to be maintained because if you're not gonna maintain a situation then inevitably it's going to just it's not gonna exist it's not gonna exist at the end of the day when you're putting energy into something it now exists it's an egregor it exists out there and it's gonna be fed by the beliefs of what those two people are feeling thinking and what they're trying to achieve whether or not they are the same thing or not because this is the thing i i tweeted and you guys you guys were screaming saying oh my gosh how can you say that like da, 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 da. because again y'all so messy y'all so messy thinking i'm talking about people i really just be saying stuff that i'm gonna reference at a later date so that it doesn't just look like i'm just saying stuff but i say something as a tweet so that i can put a pin in it well you can pin it to your wall but i like to instead of leaving all my stuff on my whiteboard i just put a tweet i screenshot it and i put it in a folder on my phone that's actually been working well for me because it's been working well for me I, I don't know why it's just been working well for me this over explaining thing i will i will tackle it one day i will do you believe in love i'm gonna have to write that song down because i don't know what that's from but i think i just saw some green alien dancing to it this is why i stay off of certain apps because i just be seeing random stuff and i don't know what it's from and it really bugs me oh but yeah, so I must have tweeted and said, are uh, a lot of people being in relationships? Are you in a commitment? Are you even in a friendship? And it's true. A lot of people are just with people for base reasons or they have, they have friendships with people that is for base reasons. You do not know the other intent of somebody else until you're on bad terms with them, to be fair. And a lot of the time, when you get on bad terms with people, their loyalty to you shifts and people are truly only loyal to themselves and to be fair i've started to hum a lot like that if it's people that are not in my tribe you're not in my pack then we don't have a pact there's no reason there's no higher higher um goal as to why i should be protecting you you know people will rather let you get into situations because they need you to do it first so they can make sure they're safe and that's that's pretty fucked up this ain't this ain't it throw my hair into a bun do my makeup and have fun you get me so, oh let's do a ponytail yeah as i've been saying like i've been stepping more into just accepting like this is how i am I am I can yeah I can read how people's vibe is but at the same time me see me I'm very naive I will believe that people are doing things for the the they'll have other reasons and they can't possibly be doing this to be malicious now I'm just like yeah no nah, babes like you saw that and you ignored that because you didn't want that to be the case and I'm sick of people 
turning around and making it seem like I'm just quick to cut people out when I make the decisions I make. I give people multiple attempts and multiple chances to redeem themselves and it goes the same way. Now I'm just like, yeah, no, like there's actually no room for people that keep doing the same type stuff to me. It's really weird and everyone that does these things they are so quick to be like oh like i know what you're gonna do you're gonna make this into a video like you know my process of of healing and getting things off of my chest and talking like it's so weird that people think they are immune from the real version of how i am they want me to continue playing this character that they scripted me to beat I don't get it, especially when people want you to change so many different scenarios that you are in just so that it fits them also when you can't have opportunities for yourself. And as I was saying about caterpillars and butterflies, the more you start to change, you're going to notice more and more people try to almost poke at you or test if that's actually how you are the universe is gonna provide different tests and cycles whether it be people places just other situations you get put into or to see if hey are you actually who you say you are or are you actually all these things that everyone else is saying to you or you might just have that with yourself because people will be battling themselves and be an enemy of their own progress rather than people being the enemy of their progress higher up yeah higher up or if when you start to feel like you're you're literally shedding parts of yourself as well as shedding so many other things like you could be not even losing parts of yourself but loosening the cages of that cell of where you've locked yourself away to be somebody for other people or just because you're afraid to let that out or because people have tamed you into being this trauma state version of yourself and as you're saying like yeah no like I'm I don't care it's almost like you lose those people at the same time and that's okay that's fine I'm sorry that those people are about to miss out on how you are. It's okay. You're good. Oh, this one's nice though. I kind of want to do my edges now. People aren't always the best. And at the same time, you can have people in your life that as you start to change, they start to change in ways that conflict with who you are, how you are, and the things you believe in, and your morals. And if people, if other people's alchemy no longer aligns with yours, then it's not for you to feel apologetic because you're supposed to be unapologetically you, so that other people can be unapologetically them, so that they can actually be on the same resonance with you otherwise you're not going to attract the people that you're supposed to into your life or the things you're supposed to into your life because you're constantly going to be on the wrong vibe you know when they say wrong place wrong time i feel like it's literally the same as me saying wrong aura wrong alignment because the shaman way of viewing things is your aura being your luminous energy field and whatever you have in your circle in your immediate cycle of people that is around you is what you're going to attract so if everyone in that group is on the same things that you're on for me if i'm around the same people and my tribe is all about elevating themselves and growing and learning and healing their trauma and helping to teach and heal others then of course if somebody else joins naturally they're going to be 
able and ready to receive that and if they're not we're gonna push them to we're gonna push them we're not we're no longer oh okay yeah sugarcoat no no like take it and swallow otherwise you need to leave so maybe there's someone that's scared out there i i don't know there are times where i've been like am i too kind is that what it is and the more i look back and i reflect i see how people are so quick to mold me rather than to just rather than accept the magic of how i am really finding enjoyment with being by myself i'm using this eye cream and yeah because i'm gonna put a concealer on my under eye so i don't want it to be dry eye eye dry eye haha <laughs> yeah and that too like keeping yourself hydrated because your fur eye might be dry and i was talking about in a song i said that i want to um i've got a dirty lens like the stuff blocking my fur eye because people will blind you to the reality of other things and make you believe that things are a certain way when they are not but yeah the more people often see it as really bad to be by themselves or they're isolated or they're too introverted and I feel like I get my most stuff done when I'm just being accepted for how I am and people get that I have to disappear to get things done otherwise I often start giving away my energy to other people to create things that I truly want to do and then I can be happy for them. But then in my heart, like, I feel like a part of my life has just been given away, you know? It sounds really dramatic, but to me it's not. Because I be feeling very, what's the word? Um, almost like, it's the season for it. And I'm very, I feel almost intrusive when I do certain people's readings. But I'm just like to people, ah, uh, yeah, you're gonna have a kid, you're gonna have a kid, you're gonna have a kid, you're gonna have a kid. And then I'm getting told all this information ex being exactly that, confirming it. I was told it and I said, ha ah, ha rebuke that. It's me, I am single. So it doesn't affect me because I don't do that whole sneaky link stuff. I, I don't do it. I, mm -mm. I've said it before, energy cannot be destroyed, only exchanged or transferred. And me, I do not need a soul tie with an individual because I'm, I'm doing a lot with self. So I'm not trying to learn somebody else, especially if they're not willing to also be ready to elevate, handle their own trauma, get to certain points and be accepting of the fact that my energy is very open and not be insecure about that. Then I, we can't rock, we can't roll, you know? Cause me, I don't want to lose control. Do you know what's annoying? Like, this video is for the goths and the gays and the days and the thems and the girls. So if there's guys here, like, and you're just here for the tea, then you're like, you're low key shady. Like, you can't be a man and be a bitch. Like, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But I'm using L'Oreal Truma. I know it's not my shade, but people be throwing it. So like it's okay it will, it will match it will match right because people be throwing so much shade my way that it doesn't matter what shade i put on my face come on there's other things to worry about in this world do you know how icky and the next word was just going to be inappropriate Kiss me up, she go eat me up. someone else might just be watching this like oh she's really tamed today because to be fair my youtube is ch very tamed I'm blending this out to my neck because today I decided since I was feeling so impulsive the amount of things that ran through my head I was like I want to do my nails I want to dye my hair I want to pierce this side of my nose and then I was just like I need to calm down like my head's too loud let's do a video let's talk you know can we just talk oh I'm in the wrong key let's not do that again mm -mm. Mm -mm.
not my nose. Let's let's move on from that. Ow, this this is pierced so long ago. This was pierced so long ago, so this shouldn't be hurting me. Right. Um. Do you know what's mad? I ain't got a mirror, so I'm gonna do the rest of my face. I need a mirror so I can hold it up to people that want to project things at me and show them themselves. Because that as well, when I be reflecting what other people are doing to me to them, they don't like it and they want to tell me I'm wrong and tell me all the things that I should work on with myself, that I'm working on with myself. But people want to know that you're working on yourself so that they can tell you well done. And it's really weird that people are busy trying to learn if other people are learning from themselves and their mistakes and things they need to heal within themselves, then actually do that themselves. Like, wits, wits, is it not adding up? Because I think it's not adding up. Like, people have so much to say about me, but they be the same people that need to actually do that same shit themselves. Like, and everyone stay thinking that because i talk about spirituality so much that i'm not i'm not someone that is in a physical temporary body i still have to experience things as a person that is here so like return to sender i guess Just return to sender People get so caught up on wanting to be so love and light and it's just really not the case because when you're so love and light people take you for granted people take advantage um you'll be a disadvantage to yourself if you're just letting everyone just step all over you honestly maybe you're into that if you're into that then i don't know what to say i'm not gonna shame your king if you're into people stepping all over you then you'd be into that but if they're not gonna be there when it's time to bring you to the hospital because you got stampled then you know where they stand on you because you like that what concealer am i gonna use and it feels like it's gonna fall out but i'm not okay with that because if it shatters see me see everything i was saying at this point was kind of irrelevant and i was just talking to myself and coco chanel because coco was in the room and she's literally in the room now staring at me i don't think she likes that i'm talking about her but we move like yeah cat's lives matter but she she acts like a princess so it's whatever and she gets treated like one but yeah everything in this video that i'm talking about has basically happened because it's been two weeks and i was supposed to put this video out but take it as it resonates people are unhinged and need to lay off the binge drinking apparently i'm 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 really difficult to understand and i make it confusing for people to comprehend what i'm talking about i don't think that's the case i don't think that's the case i think people that are low-key npcs are just angry that I, I don't know like you don't see you don't see mythical magical creatures in your life so you want to say they don't exist but we're not in the same reality as you so i, I don't know but yeah uh see i was busy thinking about fantasy things and i forgot maybe 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 those people are right maybe i should stop living there maybe i should stop living in fairytopia like with barbie and all them other babes because it's making me forgetful it's making me forget maybe that is psychosis maybe they're right maybe they're right maybe it's a bit dangerous yeah mm. i'm joking i'm joking if you if you didn't know i'm joking then i don't um i've definitely missed the point of what i was talking about so let's just no because these trains of thoughts that i'd be having be jumping from new cross gate to new york station and i just don't get it i don't get it but completely missed the point of what i was talking about but yeah okay music cool you guys be saying you don't like some of the collabs i do but listen i feel like same as with the music i put out everything i do me as an individual i feel like as long as i'm being myself 
in the moment of self that I'm resonating with and I'm showing I'm showing the transformation of myself the people that are supposed to align with me same as my collective they will align and find me when they're supposed to or I will find them either way because of law of attraction I don't want to be clouded up and successful off of being somebody else that I'm not do you know how exhausting that is you know how exhausting that is i literally fall asleep everywhere in general already so imagine if i was acting if i was acting i wouldn't leave my bedroom i wouldn't i mean i would because it would be funny to that be everybody else because everybody else is so predictable i, I see i've retracted and changed my statement but yeah no people are so predictable and people like predictability because people don't like change quality and not quantity i'd rather have 10 people that are all ready to change and do things a different way and go against the grain and live off grid and all of those things that i resonate with and want to do than 50 people pretending just because it seems trendy that's not what i want yeah it could be bringing money and all of that monetary um all of that monetary gain but what is the point if it's all a facade what is the point if people are facades a lot of people i really want to get this piercing i need to just people feel like if you're doing something then if if thousands of people don't hear about it then you're not doing it things can both exist in different realities just because somebody else is doing something and you don't understand it it doesn't mean that that thing isn't right because honestly all the mathematicians in the world would be arguing with me if i started to say maps don't exist just because i don't understand it you know and i think that's the same with spirituality religion all of these things they all intertwine and people argue and and will start conflict over them rather than just trying to use those connections they make to tackle bigger issues but they don't anyway i went kind of down a rabbit hole just there so i'm gonna I'm gonna come back out with my findings i'm kind of hungry kind of you you've heard my stomach you've heard my stomach that could be fake though because you can also hear sirens as well or you can't maybe my phone's actually not picking up on that and then that would make me a liar wouldn't it but in my reality i'm not a liar but in somebody else's they might be saying i am a liar because they didn't hear the siren see how those two things can exist see that right in front of us or not because you're not actually here well everyone's here because i'm also everybody well mm, yeah even the, even the other people that i don't view as the same because there's balance in everything as above so below someone else has to go fast for somebody else to go slow you know right i like that everything almost is the same See, this is why I said it didn't matter if it's not the exact same shade because I usually do my under eye a bit brighter. This is so weird. It's giving me when I used to do soft scale girly makeup. Well as all the other things I've spoken about, like becoming a butterfly and caterpillars telling you about all those times you were a caterpillar when you're now a butterfly just realize that this is the caterpillar's issue and not your issue they're too busy focused on trying to remind you of a version of yourself that you no longer are that they are not even becoming a butterfly when they could be there with you but they're not you know that this could be us yeah like this could be you being a butterfly but you're busy telling me about when i was a caterpillar well you're still a caterpillar yeah Because at the end of the day, metamorphosis, transformation, is a beautiful thing. 
you have to observe and be ready to let go of your past self in order to become the next version of yourself the more healed version of yourself hopefully and if not that's fine that's okay not everything has to be in the timing of when everybody else is expecting you to be at that point if you want to sit and be stuck in that point of stuck in your trauma and just going through it and hurting then that's fine because that's what you want to do you shouldn't let other people make such big decisions for you especially when those people are not going to be responsible for your healing you cannot get an apology from the things that have harmed you all of the time sometimes you have to be the one to say sorry to yourself and accept that apology also you know some people they can apologize to you situations can apologize to you but you're not going to get an apology from a tree if a tree falls on you you know you have to say how can i prevent that a tree really really but you have to say to yourself right what did that experience with that tree falling on me give me does nature want to give me a slap on the head like I, I don't know you have to take things as a joke sometimes you have to take things not so literally i've been told that so many times but then when i don't take things literally then i miss the mark completely so stuff you don't even notice you might not even know why you do something sometimes it could be school it could be upbringing it could be friends it could be tv shows like there's all these tv shows where they show boys crying and they're like men shouldn't cry they always make it seem like things have to be a certain way for everybody i feel like there's not a broad enough representation of things and i don't even think people past a certain people before a certain age shouldn't even be watching tv because a lot of the things in shows nowadays are brainwashing people to be not in the i know that they should be because of the fact that it's age of aquarius now it shouldn't be oh i believe in this and that and that it's i know so a lot of people are going to be stepping into their power but it may not be their power it may be the power that's programmed for them rather than the power that is destined for them and they might not know the difference because sometimes people think that the roles that other people place on them is their calling is their fulfillment whereas when they remove themselves from those things they find all these other hobbies and and parts of themselves through being with themselves you cannot find a part of yourself through being a part of somebody else or a part of somebody being in you i said what i said 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 because like i said about energy being exchanged and transferred the more you're exchanging energy with a person whether it be in that type of way or metaphysically spiritually emotionally mentally there's probably others but i might have gone over it or said it in a nicer way so that y'all don't start telling me i'm being disgusting when you guys just don't want to hear what i'm saying i'm not gonna lie because people be saying oh be careful what you put in your body but you be dealing with some low vibe guys so and low vibe girls like i don't i don't know what to say you've got people literally rising on your energy and then you wonder why you're tired i'm just setting my face with the sash off but yeah i'm Maybe it's a bit TMI, but because me, I want a life partner. I'm trying to travel. I'm trying to travel, see my friends. They need to be a friend. They need to be someone that gets on with my people, need to get on with my tribe. And it needs to not be a thing of someone that is weighing me down. Or like when people say, oh, this person's my anchor. I don't want an anchor. I, d I don't want an anchor. I don't want that. I'm trying to be in the clouds in the sky. Not, not in a heightened yeah heightened but like i mean if they are smoke no it, does, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter but i'm not i don't want an anchor i don't want that 
I, I don't want it and the more I try to be in certain situations like I can like something at a moment and this is the issue with me why I decided I can't do it I can't do it because I can think I want it and then I don't and that song um my heart wants what it wants what it wants what it wants till it doesn't that be me because I can say I like something and then I change my mind or it's because I've convinced myself and usually it's a convincing myself thing because it's a cope or because I feel bad or I don't know how to say no in situations which is also another thing that I'm, I'm very happy that I've dealt with because goodness gracious me that was just a bitch don't know how to say no in the past because me because honestly i've been through so much traumatic dating experiences where people can be okay with how i am and then all of a sudden it's like they want me to cut off so many parts of myself and then it's like you don't actually want this version of me if i was a, if if i was somebody else you would you would be okay with that and that's weird to me because that's not what attracted you to me in the first place but then again that means your perception of me is warped because it's not the perception of me that i have of me if you're not viewing me as the current self becoming the higher self that i view of myself then there's an issue with what i'm putting out to you or there's an issue that i can't be my true self with you you know and that's with everything i really want this other piercing i really want it but do I need it? Mm. So I'm not even going to be too... Oh, well, I'm using a black opal powder. This one's a little bit darker. But that's only because I just need a tiny bit on the side to sculpt out my nose. Yeah, I'm happy that I actually did this today because I've been feeling like there's so many tabs open in my mind and everything's just so loud because I keep flicking back to like, oh, what's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? And I've been unsubscribing from ideas and unlearning ideas that were never actually signed up by me or I did sign up under a different impression because the launch page looked nice or I was judging a book by its cover or a landing page before I actually landed. Because sometimes things look nice from a bird's eye view, but when you're actually on the ground, soil foundations all wobbly, wibbly, wobbly. And I said it in a, I said it in a song this week. If someone's not bringing more than what I already bring to my plate, then that means you're just eating. And there's only, there's only, there's only so much eating that can be done, you know before i have nothing sometimes i really just i really just so calm but like that i got lashes i got lipstick i got eyeliner i've been realizing that life's going a certain way and i'm very excited about the projected growth of self and how i view my life to go and i've been clearing this luminous energy field and recurating who is actually around to receive the abundance that I have and the abundance of me because naturally I just like to elevate the people that are around me to show my appreciation and other people see that and they try to take it for granted or they see it as a weakness of mine and think that I'm just gonna give and give and give because they want me to rather than me giving because I want to or I feel like I can give to that situation and it's really upsetting that I've had to almost check with myself am I just am I not a good judge of character am I the problem but no people plant seeds in your head like that to make you feel more isolated and be isolated so that you go back to them 
to allow them to make you feel like that it's a weird it's a weird it's it's it's, it's a trip it's honestly the weirdest trip ever i'm going to get scissors because i've got some lashes here i'll be relaunching eventually just when mercury has mercy on me which it never seems to because i'll be doing so many things linear because time is linear and i have this thing where i feel like everything has to be done right now right now and i'm learning to slow down about these lashes yet because i've not worn them before but i was really feeling like doing some pictures today because it's something i've not done for a while i've been busy doing so much for others that i just feel like it's so odd how do i explain it like the more i change with self i don't recognize myself because i change internally and then i feel like there needs to be a mirror of that externally and then that's why i get so fast and impulsive to be like oh i want to change my hair i want to do this i want to do that because i want to see that for myself i don't want to see the same version of myself that i saw on the outside when i was a different version of myself on the inside that is a better explanation for me because i I've, I've actually only just yeah yeah that makes sense i'm happy with that maybe that mindset will evolve or change or i'll feel different about what i just said but yeah that that will make sense because the choices i've been making and the timers of when i'll be doing things i always thought it was kind of odd but now it makes sense i just maybe it and maybe it's a um it's a trauma response maybe it's a um defense mechanism yeah because I just thought of a hedgehog or yeah I thought of a hedgehog because a lot of the time I don't want people to even be able to recognize me as that version of myself that they knew because then I'm not that person when they try and approach me and then I am outwardly also and inwardly able to make that correlation with myself compared to what i usually go for these look like russian um i like it though i want like a tiny bit of shimmer in the corner or something I'm gonna do exactly that. But yeah, I just feel myself changing internally, being on a whole different energy of actually allowing myself to be an asset and also sit my ass down rather than being an asset to other people and letting them sit on their ass and let me do all the work. Because I always think like, oh, I'll be so happy if I do this for this person and they'll really appreciate it. But it's not even that I'm expecting anyone to say thank you. I just don't like it when people act like I didn't do it or they don't even give me the recognition for doing said thing. It's really weird and I just find it so strange that people can do that. So now I'm just like, yeah, I need to do more things solo and stop promoting people that clearly wanted to be promoted in a way where they didn't have to ask or people just taking from me and taking opportunities from me and removing me out of things that I've created just because I allow it through seeming like I don't care or being naive to the fact that people don't have my best interest all of the time. And it's hurtful because it be people it be people that you don't expect and then you always have that whisper in your head or you knew and me i would rather let people be and be in my life 
and be aware that they may do something grimy or they may do something shysty because at the end of the day i see things so far ahead that people do not get the clue that when i cut them out so many times or i disappear or i do things by myself it's because i'm aware of the fact that the evil eye be present and people be sending weird vibes to me and don't like it when i just do things for me or i do things for other people but they try to force me to do it for them and it's really strange and i can only wish that those people find the people that will do those things for them just because they want to but it won't be me it won't be me the gods love a trial but me I don't like people that are okay with making other people feel that their reality isn't important unless they're actually contributing to somebody else's reality to make their dreams a reality rather than focusing on their own. so weird because paranoid is the person doing the perpetrating and people love to call out other people for doing the same thing that they're doing or they feel like that person's doing and it really don't be the case and it just highlights even more that people do not have their best interests for other people all of the time and you take that as it resonates but I don't know what to say everyone's always reading into my stuff so much and it's really not the case it's really not the case i don't know what to say but it's not the case people just want to try and not let me talk about the things that i go through because it highlights the fact that they had ulterior fucked up motives towards me and i allowed the trauma to happen to myself by not calling them out on the thing that they thought I knew they were doing. Like, I don't know, me, I prefer to, I preferred to suffer in silence and just disappear when people are doing stupid stuff to me and just let the things people do in the dark come to light. But now I'd be letting the things people do in the dark come to light and I'd be minding my business and then I also be reflecting and talking about it so that other people can learn from that. Because at the end of the day, I'm a girl that doesn't exactly look like everybody, doesn't talk like everybody else. I I tell you guys what stuff be happening. I tell you guys when I'm in the wrong. I tell you guys. And it's almost as if people don't want me to do that so they can try and do it instead and say like, she did this or she's like this. Bruv, I be exposing myself. I'll be exposing myself. I said it time ago, like, um, you're not theirs, they're a subscription. Honestly, honestly, a lot of people have unsubscribed from them because you're not providing what you say you provide. You're not who you said you are. You're actually, you're, you're catfishing somebody else's personality, to be fair. Like, so unsubscribe. I, I'm, I'm no longer channeling you or allowing you to channel me. There, there's no way, there's no, ooh. That pink was pretty, I kind of want it in my nails. Um, yeah, people be simping on other people's soul. People be intentionally exchanging their energy with people or being around people just to lower them. And that's the soul STD transference. I, I don't care. I'm, I'm protecting my aura, protecting my energy, cleansing myself, saging, because the way people be doing people so dirty out here and they're aware of it, it's just scary but it's, it's scary yeah this is my face y'all happy y'all 